Well, Tuesday, Tuesday, and it's raining. So I got my level two charger in last night. Uh, I'll, have that, uh, I'll have that installed later in the week. But I had an idea. I've had a lot of people ask me questions like, um, you know, like how long do you have to charge it or how often do you have to charge it? How long does the charge last? So I thought what I'd do is um, I'd actually sort of show that uh, on a daily basis and track my usage over the week. Generally what happens or has been happening is um, I, uh, there we go, put that up there. Generally what has been happening is uh, I actually charge more on the level one charger that I currently have through the day. Come on, open up. My car is not opening up for me. It doesn't like me. There. So generally what happens is uh, I charge in the evening and uh, get up the next morning and uh, kind of go. So it charges a little more. There, charges a little more each day uh, than I actually use. So by the end of the week, I end up with more than what I started with. So I'm gonna start that process today. Maybe do this for the next five days and show you what uh, the actual battery usage is like over a period of time. So let's show you what's on the dash now. So this is my current reading. It's uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday morning. I have 51%, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drive to work as I normally would, and then I'm gonna document coming home, looking at where the mileage indicator or the percentage indicator is then, and I'll proceed, repeat the process for the next few days. And you can see um, what the average usage is and uh, what the battery charge level is like after that period of time. So let's go. So I'm almost home. Been a pretty long day. Uh, did a lot of driving actually compared to most of my days. Went to work, as I normally do. Uh, finished work and uh, went downtown for a meeting at uh, five o'clock. Uh, had the meeting and had to go from there to, uh, to Walmart. Uh, got a few things, picked up a few things at Walmart. And now I'm, uh, actually I went to the theater. Decided to go to the show tonight. It's Tuesday night, cheap night. And I'm just making the last couple of turns on the way home. So, uh, this will be the baseline that we use for tomorrow. So we're going to plug in when we get here, we're gonna charge and when we get up tomorrow, we're gonna to be able to make a comparison about what uh, what we burnt today, what we went through today, and how much uh, we were able to charge overnight. And that'll become the baseline for tomorrow. Hopefully at the end of five days, we'll be able to come up with an overall calculation for uh, what happens on a slow charge, a level one charge. Uh, and keep in mind, this is a level one charge. It is uh, just plugging into the wall with uh, the lowest speed, uh, the lowest speed uh, charger. Uh, when we upgrade to the level two charger, which I actually received and we'll be installing at the end of the week, uh, it's about five times faster. So let's have a look at where we are now at the at the uh, speedometer, the, the 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 percentage meter, and see what we've uh, what we burnt today, and where our baseline for tomorrow is going to be. Okay, so there we are. We're uh, currently sitting at 39%, and that will become our baseline for tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's day two of our mini marathon in level one charging, our little experiment. It's a beautiful morning, nice and sunny. Just gonna unplug the car here, and we're gonna have a look at uh, what our readings are and where we're starting from today. Well, there we are, starting at 54% for today. Let's get underway and see how our day goes. So if memory serves, uh, we ended up at 39% and getting up to 54 brought us up 15% overnight, which I think is what I've been getting for the most part on average. Cost-wise, if we're charging 15% of our battery overnight, that's 15% of our 85 kilowatt battery going rate at 17 cents a kilowatt means that we're charging about two dollars every night uh, so over the course of a week that would extrapolate out into you know, about 14 dollars a week assuming we're doing about the same amount of driving um, 
maybe we throw in a trip somewhere once a week um, and we could maybe round that up to $20 a week uh, which puts our monthly burn potentially at you know, at, at the most uh, $80 uh, I'm calculating based on the mileage I've had previously that if I replace the travel that I did in my truck uh, at $497 for the month uh, that will have me burning about $70 worth of electricity charging it. So here we are at the end of the day, another long one. Uh, went to work, made two trips to Walmart, and uh, ended the day with a trip to the Dobson Yacht Club to uh, stow the uh, air mattress that I had uh, taken up on the weekend for a trip to Halifax. So uh, sitting at about 4.54 and uh, just going to pull on the driveway. So let's have a look at uh, the dashboard and have a look at our stats and see what percentage battery life we have left after uh, a good day of travel. So there we are, sitting at 40% uh, at the end of the day. We'll uh, plug on in and we'll catch you in the morning and pick up this story for day number three of our... Little postscript, decided to go out for a coffee. It's uh, 8.44 and let's have a look at our screen. So presently, 45%, uh, just gonna go get a coffee and we'll let you know what the uh, range is when we get back. Okay, mission accomplished. Got my groceries and had a coffee. So good night to all and we'll catch you all in the morning. Uh, sitting 43%, so we use 2% going downtown. We'll see where we are at eight o'clock. Okay, here we are, Thursday morning. Let's see where our charge is today. And there we are on Thursday morning, 57%. I think yesterday we ended with 39 or 40, so we've gained, uh, what for me I think is a record overnight, um, 17, 18%. I'll take a second and I'll show you the, the charge uh, settings for the car. Uh, you can actually set a maximum charge, uh, like I said, uh, it's uh, beneficial to probably just charge to 80%. You can change that any time just by going in and uh, changing this uh, guide here and picking the total percentage that you want to charge to. Most times I leave it at 80%. If I'm going on a trip, I'll bump it up to 100 and charge up to that level in order to give me the best range. Well, it's 5 o'clock, Friday Eve, Thursday evening. Uh, long day and uh, just gonna go home. Didn't have any uh, extra trips to make, didn't go to the grocery store, uh, couldn't muster up the energy to go to the gym this afternoon. I gotta get back to that. But we're about to pull in the driveway, so let's have a look and see what the, what the uh, odometer looks like and um, what our charge state is. And there we are, still have 50% battery life. We're, uh, we're climbing up, we're increasing our total range every day. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Friday, Friday. We had a good charge session last night. Uh, parked the car around six o'clock uh, and it's now eight o'clock the next day. So uh, that's a pretty healthy charge cycle. Uh, not every day is the same for charging and not every day is the same for driving, but we should have picked up quite a bit of charge last night. Let's have a look how much. So it looks like we picked up about 20%. We're at 70% from that charge overnight. So we started at uh, six o'clock. It's now uh, just about eight, or it is exactly eight o'clock. So uh, we've been charging that for in the ballpark of, uh, what's that, 14 hours? Uh, is it 14 hours? Eight plus six, yeah. Um, so it, uh, it was a good charge cycle and uh, we're making our way through the week, and we uh, seem to be uh, seem to be picking up uh, an overall uh, surplus of uh, surplus of charge in our battery. So we'll see where we are tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of our uh, of our little test here, and uh, we'll come up with some numbers to tell us uh, what real life level one charging is like over the course of five days. So I'd like to take a moment and show you some other information on the charging system. One of the controls that you have uh, is to change the uh, charge cord, uh, the charge limit from an 8 amp load to a 12 amp load. Uh, comes set at 8 amps when you buy the vehicle and they say that uh, you should check your system out and make sure it's able to maintain the full 12 amp draw. 
Uh, it's plugged into, right now it's hooked up to a 15 amp breaker. Uh, so the 12 amps is reasonable on a 15 amp breaker, but they wanna make sure that it's not an old system and that uh, you can continue that draw. You're gonna be plugged in for hours at a time. So it's not like running a lamp for 10 or 15 minutes or even a heavier draw device. So they do recommend that you check your system out. Uh, my panel is uh, relatively new. It's got all new breakers in it, so um, it's uh, it's not a problem on my system. It seems to be fairly happy with that. Uh, you also see you've got some other options uh, that you can uh, play with here. Um, you can get into scheduling and timing and whatnot. Oh, just turned off on me because I hit the power button. Thursday, the shots keep. Um, yeah, you've got some other options. You can make some schedules and you can, uh, you know, put some other controls on your system for preconditioning temperature and setting your home charge location. So, um, the system on the display screen, it's a nice display screen. Uh, I don't love everything about the interface and the software, uh, but, uh, in, in the end it is effective. There are a lot of buttons. There are a lot of switches, a lot of controls, and that does get a bit, honestly, a bit distracting when driving. I might have showed you this already, but there is a, a charge level that you can change over here. Currently it's uh, charging, so I can't change that setting. Um, but I'm sitting at 70%. It's set to charge to a maximum of 80%, and uh, at 80% it gives me just shy of 400 kilometers. So here we are, Friday afternoon after work, about to pull into the driveway and look at what our grand total of our consumption is. We did uh, pretty well so far, started off the day with uh, 70%. And uh, now we are looking at, drum roll please, 61%. So we've gone through the week so far, I think we started off at 50% uh, on Tuesday. This will be the last night of our charging. Uh, last, uh, the previous night we added about 20% uh, charge. We had a, a fairly long charge session. Uh, we may or may not get that coming into Saturday morning, uh, but it looks like we're in good condition to uh, end the week or end the five day experiment up. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday morning for our grand total after we finish our, finish our nightly charge. Okay, another little quick postscript going out for a couple groceries and a coffee. Uh, sitting around 8 o'clock and uh, we've charged up to 65%. Uh, we're going to head out, come back, and uh, we'll let her sleep for the night and charge up till morning. Groceries purchased, coffee enjoyed. We're sitting at 60% and it's currently 56. We'll see you in the morning. Saturday morning, here it is. We're going to uh, check out what the result is of our charge from last night and uh, we'll do some calculations and see what uh, that uh, five days or four or five days of driving has uh, cost us over that period of time. Let's have a look. So at 8.59 in the morning, I did sleep in a little bit I guess, uh, we have 74% of battery life. So that's almost a full charge, uh, full being that recommended 80% that uh, is uh, the best option for keeping your battery topped up at. So we did pretty well. We started at 50 on Tuesday morning and we finished at 74%. So uh, we charged every night, of course, um, and um, we've actually driven around, did everything we needed to do on a level one charger. Uh, level one being the, the, the least powerful charger that you can get, the one that comes free with the car. And uh, well, I guess it's not free. You paid for it with the car. But uh, yeah, level one, 110 volt, just plugs into the side of your house. Uh, driving from uh, driving from Tuesday, waking up on Saturday, and what we have is 74% battery life. So I'm not surprised by the results. Uh, I figured that's what would happen, that we'd end up a few days into this and we'd find that we were increasing our battery, uh, our battery uh, storage capacity. Um, been driving it for a couple weeks and effectively that's what I found so uh, I was told or I guess led to believe that you really didn't get much in the way of a charge from the uh, regular 110 volt uh, outlet and I guess it's true you, you don't you're, you're not going to you're not going to make a lot of long drives um, or at least you might make one long drive but then it might take you a week to uh, build back up uh, the battery uh, the amount of power in the battery um, <clears throat> But I was surprised that on a regular basis you could drive uh, the whole day and come home at night and charge and get enough juice to recoup 
and not only just recoup, but you know, make more energy or get more energy into your battery. Uh, so that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, one of the perhaps uh, many uh, many things about the EV that are maybe EVs that are misunderstood in the in the public. I am upgrading, or I have upgraded to uh, the 220 uh, charger, uh, the level two charger. So I'll be using that from now on. But I don't have to, or don't expect to have to, or, or want to charge it every night. Um, if I if I recall the way battery chemistry works, um, and looking at other devices I've owned with batteries, cell phones, video cameras, things like that, uh, they do like to uh, they do like to be drained down and charged uh, regularly. Uh, you don't want to drain them down to 0% and you don't want to charge them to 100%, at least not very often. So uh, I'll be you know, maintaining that process uh, of intermittent charging with uh, the 220 system uh, once we, well, today after we finish this, I've got the system installed. So I'll be packing away the uh, 110 volt uh, charger, putting that in the trunk for uh, I guess a rainy day or a travel trip somewhere um, and uh, continue to use the 220 system that I've uh, installed in the house. So all considered, uh, it was a good experiment for me and hopefully it was insightful for people watching the channel as well. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. I had a lot of uh, a lot of questions at the start, things that I thought or assumed and uh, have been finding out little by little that things that I expected may not necessarily have been true or things that I was told were true and uh, I was hoping to sort of document the process of discovering all of this and passing this on to other people around the island that might be interested in EV. Um, I'll follow this up uh, once I finish my routine for the morning here and I'll go back and I'll actually calculate uh, what the cost of that electricity that I used was uh, over the last few days and we'll post that up. Uh, otherwise, if you like the channel, if you're appreciative of this information, uh, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to continue to do it to document uh, the use of the EV over, uh, over the island or around the island um, and document some trips and, and have a look at how the EV performs and what kind of energy it takes to drive around and just overall the whole experience. So give me a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the other side. So here's our results by the numbers. Uh, each of these are percentages of the battery life, uh, and the battery has a total capacity of uh, 85 kilowatts. So on Tuesday, we used 12% uh, battery. On Wednesday, we used 14. Wednesday for coffee in the evening, we used uh, 2%. Thursday, we used seven, and uh, Friday, we used nine. And our Friday coffee event used 5% battery. So in total, uh, we actually used through our test 49% of the battery's uh, you know, 85 uh, kilowatts, uh, and we actually charged uh, in an excess of uh, 19 kilowatts. So we ended up with 70, where we started up with uh, 51. So if I extrapolate that out and uh, convert the percentages over to the actual kilowatts, what we find is that we used uh, 41 kilowatts, 41.65. Uh, at a new rate of 18.5 cents uh, per kilowatt hour for a cost of $7.71 over the run of our test, which converted out to $1.93 per day. Again, if you find this helpful, uh, give me a like, subscribe, and pass on the word. If you're thinking about buying an EV, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to answer any of your questions.